Hey, in today's video, I have seven items that all instantly automatically, magically make you look more useful. These are game changers and I think they belong in every woman's wardrobe. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for everything I do on this channel is to support you in your style journey, wherever you're at, meeting you where you're at and helping you get to the next level with your style. I believe passionately, and I've seen it over and over again with the 2000 plus um, members of my Ageless Style program, I've seen how style can transform your life. How style can transform your life. I know that's a major claim, but I am standing behind it because I've seen it over and over and over again. It can make Make you feel braver it can make you feel bolder it can make you feel more confident it can make you feel more energetic it can support you when you're going through a tough time and it can offer you that little extra boost that you need to take risks and to make changes in your life so um, I, it, that's a lot to pin on a shirt or a pair of jeans, but I am I'm here to support you whatever level you're at. So whether your um, your level is just watching me on YouTube and my Instagram, I have a, a wonderful private Facebook group that's linked below, or whether it's joining us in my Ageless Style program, it is the most supportive and transformative way to get that that style support on an ongoing basis, and it really comes down to being intentional about how you're assembling the pieces in your wardrobe and then putting them together in modern ways. So today I'm going to talk about seven pieces that will instantly make you look more youthful. Now, why do we care about youthfulness? We care about youthfulness because it's linked to looking modern. And traditionally, the word frumpy, which I know many of you hate, but the reason I use the word frumpy a lot is because it we, we all get an instant image in our heads when, when I say the word frumpy. Like we all know what frumpy means. And frumpy really just comes down to having clothes that are dated and out of style. And I don't mean like last year or two years ago dated, but I mean when you're wearing things that really um, five, ten years ago were, were trends and are no longer trendy, that's really when we start to look frumpy. And it really looks like we're not paying attention anymore to what's happening in style. And that's that's what creates that aging look. Now, many of you really just want to look modern, and that's my goal too. My goal is not to look 20 again. My goal is to look like my best self for where I'm at right now. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around because we're going to talk about seven pieces that when you put them on, look fresh, they look modern and therefore they look useful because they're modern and because it, it looks like we are keeping up or paying attention to what's going on in the world of style and we're, we're bringing in those pieces in our wardrobe that we're going to love and wear for a long time. So these are not super trend heavy pieces. The, they're, they're basic pieces that I think are also really modern and also in keeping with what's happening in style right now. So they really are that kind of that intersection that I think is amazing. Okay, so the first item I want to talk about is a pair of modern shoes. Like, I love um, updating a woman's wardrobe by starting at the shoes because let's face it, often, and, and this happens all the time in, in um, my my VIP Facebook group, I'll see outfits and I'll be like, the outfit is awesome. The shoes pull down the outfit. The shoes drag down the outfit. Now, Little tip is that um, your best neutral for shoes and for bags for an investment pair of shoes and investment pair of bags is a color that um, is close or harmonizes with your hair color. So keep that in mind as you look for like your best shoes and your best go-to style. Now, I think a go-to style for many women in the fall and winter is a pair of boots. So I'm really excited. This video is not sponsored, but I'm really excited to share my new seven or nine booties with you. Seven or nine is a brand that is, they have sneaker insoles in these shoes. They are ridiculously, ridiculously comfortable. I mean, they literally feel like you're walking on like little mattresses. They're super, super comfortable. These are also really sleek and really modern. And that's why I, I, mean, I think it's really important to have whatever that go-to style for the season is, I think it's really important to have a modern version of that. So if you're a flats person, you're going to want to get a pair of modern flats. If you are a boots person like I am in the fall and winter, you want a pair of modern boots. In the, in the uh, spring and summer, you want a pair of modern sandals, whatever that go-to style is for you. So like modernizing your shoes is so critical. What I love about these, I just took them on a business 
business trip to Austin, Texas. It was amazing. And I, I seriously, these are the only boots I needed. I wore them or the only shoes I needed. I wore them four out of the five days that I was there. I wore them for the travel days because they come off and on really easily. And then I wore them for two of the days at the conference. The, the, the remaining day I wore my cap toe slingbacks. And that, you know, of course, those are also really cute. But I seriously could have just worn the boots the entire time and been just fine. So they are, like I said, very, very comfortable, very wear wearable. I wore them all day. The conference was from 8.30 a.m. to 8 or 9 p.m. I didn't end up taking the shoes off until 10, 10.30. I was comfortable the entire day. So a pair of modern but wearable shoes is the first, first step that you want to look for. And so what makes a shoe modern? It does not have an aggressively round toe. You're looking for a squared off toe or even better in many cases is a slight slight point or almond toe style and you want them to be sleek you want them to be simple you want them to be versatile and you want them to be good quality these are where you're going to spend a little bit more money to get the quality that you deserve and the comfort that we all need right so modern shoes updating your shoes very, very critical. I'm going to share um, some of my favorite modern shoe options in the catalog that's linked to this video because you want to decide, ask yourself, what is my go-to shoe and how can I make it modern? That's, those are the questions. What is my go-to shoe style and how can I make it modern? I'm going to have options for all the different shoe styles in the, um, in the description box. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is a leather jacket. A leather jacket is just one of those pieces that, you know, I, I do not have cool girl style. I've joked about this. My style is a little quirky, a little creative, maybe a little classic at times like today, but it is not like I don't have the cool girl aesthetic, but when I want to feel like a cool girl, when I want to feel like, I got, you know, I'm like edgy and a little uh, New York, I throw on a leather jacket. It's just a foolproof and quick way to get that cool girl look. And um, I, I feel like every single woman needs her version of a leather jacket and her wardrobe. I love the jacket maker. Again, this video is not sponsored, but they make custom leather jackets. And I've had um, several women in my style program order these. And it's just amazing to put on a leather jacket that was custom made for you because it fits beautifully like it fits over your bust it fits your arm length it fits your shoulders it fits everything so i am going to link that below but um you want a leather jacket that that feels like you so you want it to be in your best dark neutral you want you know if you you can choose suede or a regular leather um and then you know honestly after you've got that first leather jacket box checked you'll probably find you want a couple of others i have a floral one now i'm looking for a suede one so you know there are uh, there's a leather jacket out there for everybody and if you don't like leather or faux leather i would say just get um a synthetic material that um, it feels like suede or you can even do a, a fabric um, like a coated denim um, moto jacket style but that it, there's something about that look of leather or faux leather that just really makes everything look cool makes everything look cool and therefore cool equals youthful um, I just think it's a game changer also you can put it over on over things that are maybe a little less flattering or a little less modern and it instantly updates that item Okay, next thing I want to talk about is a pair of modern jeans. Modern jeans. Okay, I I think that we all deserve to find denim in our price point. So I'm going to share a couple of brands in different price ranges. So under $100, um, Express is a great source of denim under $100. They have really, really good jeans. They have modern flattering cuts and washes. Levi's has great jeans under $100 that are really trendy, that are really, really cool. I'm going to link, uh, you know, styles from each of these brands, my preferred styles from each of these brands in the description box. But um, Levi's Express under $100 all day long, great jeans. If you can find great jeans at Old Navy too, I, I personally haven't experimented with Old Navy jeans that much, but I know many of you love Old Navy jeans. Um, denim is where you find it. Like you just need to find the, 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 the silhouettes and the styles and the brands that fit you best and, um, and, and go with that. Um, between 100 and 150, I like Madewell and I like uh, Mott & Bow. Those are my go-to brands for that 100 to 150 price point. I really like the Madewell 90 straight jeans and Madewell makes a great curvy jean for orange and green body types that is magical. It fits really, really well um, on those body types. Now, over the $150 price point, we're talking about the premium the trendy, the really cool denim um, brands that everybody is talking about. 
a goldy frame, rag and bone, redone, um, AG, mother, you know, mother is one of my favorites. I have a, I have a pair of mother jeans. Now, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say, I really think that the most modern denim washes are really on the light side or on the dark side. It's the middle ground when it's like that middle wash with a very like potentially hard to wear cut, like maybe a mom jean in a medium wash can be a little bit harder, but that also depends on the silhouette. So you want a good combination of wash and silhouette. And these brands, you really can't go wrong. You're gonna pick, um, it, all, of their, all of their jeans are going to be modern. So you just wanna find one that's flattering. Um, okay, I know, I know I'm contradicting myself from previous videos, but I'm gonna say that pull on jeans, um, from the right brands can actually work. I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe I'm saying that. But um, if you have not seen the frame Jet Set jeans that are sweeping the name, they have been trending for for a couple of years. They've just been a super, super popular um, jean with like influencers and magazine editors and models wear these. Um, they are so leg lengthening and so flattering. These are their travel jeans. So they are a pull on style with no pockets and no hardware. So you can wear them on long trips, but they also also really extend your legs and make you look fabulous. They're so, so flattering. Now they have these in a crop and they have them in leather and they have them in every iteration possible, but I love the frame jet set jeans. Now, I don't like to show the waistband on um, on pull-on style jeans, and that's how you get away with wearing these jeans by not showing the waistband. Maybe you wear them with a sweater, or you wear them with a shirt that hits at the high hip. However, I've seen a lot of other people sh show the waistband of these jeans. Not for me. You know how I feel about the pull-on jean look, but but if you're gonna have pull-on jeans, Frame is the brand to do that. Now, after I said you know no to pull-on jeans, I realized I have the Free People sort of answer to these jeans. Free People also does pull-on jeans, and they do them really well. Um, I have a pair of really dramatic uh, boot cut, um, no, bell bottom jeans from, from Free People that I love, and they are a pull on style jean. Um, and Free People has always done them. But again, I, I prefer not to show the waistband of some of these jeans. If it has an actual waistband, I like that to be covered. If it's just a clean line all the way up to the top, then you can actually show that. Um, that's, my, that's my take on those. But I mean, you can't go wrong with either the Frame or the Free People version. Now, at a lower price point, hello has a version of a, a pull-on flare style jean that I think is sort of their answer. They're, they're maybe not exactly a dupe, but sort of their answer to the frame jet set jeans because they are so, so popular. And then um, Spanx also does a version so you really can't go wrong with any of those those brands. If you're looking for a really comfortable jean to travel in, um, one that's gonna be really, really flattering, I, again, I would just say, just wear it with a shirt that covers the waistband. That's my, that's my, that's my takeaway from this. But you know, these are not like the pull-on jeans that I have said to avoid for a thousand years. Like these are not those jeans. Those are, th those are, those are really, really bad. Those are really bad. These are, don't look like leggings or jeggings. They look like jeans but they have a pull-on styling. So the as far as the most unmodern jean to avoid is that pull-on um, jegging style jean. Those have been in, out of style for a thousand years. They were never flattering and never cute to begin with. You do not want a jegging of any kind and you don't want a pull-on jegging especially. Like a, a jegging without any hardware or pockets is just, you know, the worst worst case scenario. Um, so the silhouettes that are out, that are in style right now are straight leg, flare, and wide leg. And, and so there's really one for every body type just Quickly, orange and green do really well with a straight leg. Wide leg is great for blue and yellow and even purple. And then red and purple also do really well with a flare style. So, uh, you know, you want that silhouette that works for you. Those are the most modern silhouettes. Cuffed jeans are also really having a moment, um, but they are leg shortening. So anyway, obviously I could go on and on about denim, but you need a pair of modern jeans in your wardrobe. They are a go-to and you want to make sure yours are a great fit, very flattering and very updated.
Okay, next I want to talk about a solid tea. Now, why a solid tea? Because so many of the teas that are aimed at women over 40, over 50 are just so bad. They have all sorts of stuff going on them. Um, and, you know, there's patterns and, and, and weird stripes and weird shapes and weird sleeve lengths and weird necklines that really take what should be a basic wardrobe staple and make it like a frumpy shirt. And that is not what we want. We do not want um, our tea tea to be now there are teas that can be blouses and you know like if it's silk or whatever but you don't want your tea to, to morph into like just a bad shirt you want it to be a basic and a wardrobe staple that really supports a lot of other looks in your wardrobe and so I really like the the Spanx one Spanx has one that is ridiculously comfortable um it and it's got a little bit of um, it's double layer and very, very soft material. So it doesn't show lumps and bumps through it. You want a white tee that is flattering and that can be a little hard. So the, the two options for a white tee that's flattering is either a white um, fitted tee that has either a double layer or a little compression. Um, Express has one that has a little bit of compression in it. Like I said, Spanx has that double layer or you want one that is a little bit boxy and cut away from the body so it doesn't hug and show lumps and bumps. So that's my only you know caveat about white tees but you want a basic white tee you want a basic um whatever your dark neutral is you want a tee in that color because they really are modern and you can pair them with anything that you have in your wardrobe that's a little bit fussy and it's kind of an instant youth of youthifier instant update um and and just really a, a basic wardrobe piece so i will link these below of course and the next thing i want to talk about is a fashion sneaker now I said this over and over again, but it bears repeating. Sneakers are the new comfort shoe. If you need to be comfortable, and we all need to be comfortable, you want a sneaker. You want a sneaker that looks cool with dresses and pants and all sorts of outfits. That is, it's, it's going to be a game changer in your wardrobe if you can start wrapping your brain around, because it took me a while, I'm saying this because it took me a while, um, wearing a sneaker with like maybe with dresses, um, with, um, with more casual outfits, um, instead of, um, maybe a potentially frumpy loafer or flat um a sneaker is just an instant like you just look so cool i saw a woman walking in front of me at the airport in austin and um she wore she was wearing like kind of baggy trouser style jeans and a or, um, pants sorry and a sweater she was wearing sneakers and when i saw her from the front i could tell that she was in her 60s but she looked so cool she looked so cool if i wasn't if, if i wasn't in a hurry i would have marched up to her and asked her if I could take her picture because she looked amazing and from the back she could have been you know 40 she could have been 60 like you couldn't tell because the outfit was just modern and it works across a wide variety of ages um it just it just works so sneakers a fashion sneaker is just where it's at right now the two you know I've been doing 50 days of gifts and the very first day I mentioned these because they're that important but the, the where it's happening with fashion sneakers right now is the adidas sambas if you already have them in black and white or whatever neutral you know colors that you want that I would say go for like a green or go for a fun color nothing is cooler than adding a pair of colored sneakers with a with a casual outfit they just they just look very cool I saw this all over Europe people were always wearing their sneakers and they just um, they just work they just work with a lot of outfits so sometimes we just have to adjust our eye and get used to seeing sneakers with outfits and not just with workout clothes um, but again these are fashion sneakers right there so they're kind of designed to be worn with outfits um, the other style that you know that I like I talk about all the time are the Veja 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 I, I forgot I think it's Veja uh, no no it's Veja okay it's Veja anyway I love these sneakers I love them they are ridiculously comfortable right out of the box which is awesome but they're also cool like Kate Middleton wears these they're just amazing they're just very very stylish I like the the white with a little bit of a metallic V um, I think those work very well and are very very um very versatile Superga also makes a great pair of fashion sneakers I also like my Allbirds Pipers those are kind of like a like a just a classic lace-up um sneaker style that is very versatile and very very comfortable so you want a fashion sneaker in your life if you don't already have one okay the last nope the second to the last thing I want to talk about is a baseball cap every woman needs a baseball cap um 
even me, I'm, I'm starting to look into baseball caps. I don't actually own one yet. So I, I'm, I'm kind of a, you know, um, a newbie in this area, but I'm starting to see, um, and even with my hair, I'm going to find a version that works. I'm starting to see the benefit of having that cap that can, that can cover, you know, in between color appointments, but also just makes everything look like kind of cool, a little more casual. And so when, when we look a little, a little more casual, a little bit, a little bit more laid back in our outfits, that is a modern look that translates as also being more youthful. So, uh, you know, for casual days, for bad hair days, for days when you're in between color appointments, a baseball cap is just a really cool um, look and can can modernize what you're wearing and elevate what you're wearing. So I kind of feel like everybody needs a baseball cap. I would go with a really simple neutral baseball cap. Um, it's just something very, very simple, but you know, and, and maybe not like a crazy team color cap, but you know, th there are a lot of cool neutral caps out there. And I would say, I, I think everybody needs one. Probably many of you are already wearing them. They even have those baseball caps that you could stick your ponytail through. I haven't experimented with those yet because I have too much hair to do a ponytail, but but um, those are a great option, but you need a baseball cap. You need a, I need a baseball cap. When I get one, I will take a picture and I will share it with you guys. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is a crossbody bag. There's something about, I love structured ladylike bags, but I have really fallen in love with crossbody bags over the last couple of years. They are just so cool. They're, they, they're, they're hands-free and that's why they're so popular. They're, they're hands-free. They're really practical. They're really comfortable, but they also add an element of interest and modernness and youthfulness and a cool vibe to whatever you're wearing. They also, which is kind of strange, they actually give you a little bit of shape in your, in your outfit without belting, tucking, tying, doing any of that because of the line that they create across your body, they can really give a little waist definition, which is kind of strange for a bag, but it's just the way it is. Um, I really like, you know, the the more sporty crossbody bags are great for every day. Um, my daughter got the Nomadic Sling. I am going to link it below because I love, love, love this bag. She carried it all over Europe. It's such an amazing bag. The quality is really, really good. It looks, uh, you know, like the, the trendy, um, the athletic style crossbody bags that are out there right now. Um, but this one has, is such good quality. Like, I will tell you, this bag is always on the floor of her car and it looks brand new. So she carried it all over Europe where it got a lot of abuse and use and then now she's been carrying it all over her life and um, it, it, she gets compliments on it everywhere we go it's it, it's got all the all the features that you want it's really comfortable it's really rugged it's really cool looking and she absolutely loves it so I think a crossbody bag both for style both for practicality and both for um, and also for just like I said adding a little extra flattery and coolness factor to an outfit you can can't beat it. So um, I really recommend the Nomadic Sling, but I'll link it and other options in um, the description box below. So that's it. These are seven items that instantly make you look a little bit more youthful. They make you look modern. They make you look like you're paying attention to what's happening in style. And these are pieces that we can wear over and over and over again. They are instant wardrobe elevators, elevators, you know what I mean? And um, they, are, they are easy updates that I think we all deserve to have in our wardrobe. So let me know which of these is on your shopping list, what you're still looking for. Um, let's discuss this in the comments. And I know that there, I probably could do another video and feature seven more, but we want to lean into those pieces that we're going to reach for every day that are going to, to make every outfit that we wear look a little bit better. And I think this list has, um, has some of, some of, it definitely has some of my favorites and some, hopefully some of your favorites as well. So love you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to comment. Let me know which of these items, like I said, is on your shopping list. And if you haven't subscribed, we've got a lot to cover in 2024 and you don't want to miss any of it. So hit the subscribe button and join us. Love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.